Have you ever seen those mentalists on TV or those little tricks they have on the internet that tells you to think of a number and then it tells you what number you were thinking of or what number you have left over? That's what we're going to talk about. So if you think of a number and then add three, you double that result and then subtract four, cut that in half, subtract your original number, and your answer is one. Now, how did I do that? Well, I'll tell you. We can use algebraic equations to show what's happening. All right? It says to think of a number. Now, we don't know what the number is, so we're just going to assign a variable x. It says to add three, so we have x plus three. It says double the result, so we're going to multiply x plus three times two. We use distributive property, we get two x plus six. Now it says to subtract 4. Well, we subtract 4 from the 6 because they're like terms. 2x plus 6 minus 4 is 2x plus 2. So now we've got 2x plus 2. And then it tells us to cut that in half. So we need to divide 2x plus 2 by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we have 1x. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we end up with x plus 1. Now it says to subtract your original number. Well, if we take the x away, we're left with 1. Of course, our answer is 1. So what happened? Well, part of it is when it said to double the result and then cut it in half, that was an inverse operation. Doubling the result means we're multiplying. Cutting it in half means we're dividing. So we multiplied it by 2 and then divided it by 2. So these two stages just created a zero pair. They eliminated each other. See that? And you can see what happened as we went along. The instructions made it so that there was going to be a one left over. See? And I can change this one into any number I want and change the little game. Look at this. Think of a number, so we think of x, and double it. Well, that's 2 times x, so we have 2x. Add 8. Now we have 2x plus 8. Divide it by 2. Well, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we have 1x. 8 divided by 2 is 4, so we have x plus 4. Now subtract 2. Well, if we take 2 away from that 4, now we've got x plus 2. Subtract your original number. Let's take away the x. Your answer is 2. Well, of course it is, because that's what we had left over. Now, I could have said subtract 3 here, so that 4 take away 3 is 1, and we could have had x plus 1 again, and I would have told you to subtract your original number, and we would have still had 1, and I could have said your answer is 1. I could have said subtract 1, and your answer is 3. I could have changed it any way I wanted to. So it's not really magic. It's just a matter of math. And they're giving you instructions that, that are going to undo what you did. Okay? That's all. Try this on one of your friends. See if they can figure out how you did it. All right? It might be some fun. See you next time. Bye.